The South Florida Times is continuing its discussion with Babaka Mibo, a staff member of the Broward County Library System, and we're talking about damage done to the Queen Idia ivory mask. Has the owner of the mask been informed of the damage and explained us who the owner is? Um, I don't know if he was uh, informed of the statues of his collection. Uh, but Dr. Afsemwege Ebohon is very well known um, internationally, but uh, particularly in Africa because of his work in terms of African traditional art and culture. So we have a great deal of uh, respect and admiration for him uh, in the ways in which he has, over the years, um, uh, sustain uh, the argument of the importance of maintaining traditional culture, both in Africa, but also in the diaspora. So his work in the United States, in Brazil, in uh, Jamaica recently, where he's working to open an African uh, Yoruba village in Jamaica, is part of what the tradition where I particularly come from, came from, that is, moving out of Africa to share with people of African descent and other people of other descent too, the heritage of black people, so that we understand that most of what the discourse that is produced in people of African descent uh, is a discourse that is really not scientific, nor it is would, bare anything. Would you describe him as a collector of, of art? Um, he's more than that. If you, uh, he's a, he's a proprietor of, of a significant museum, uh, the uh, Eberhorn Museum in Benin City. Uh, his collection, his entire collection, is more than uh, 5,000 um, artwork uh, of, uh, of Benin. And, and you were saying earlier that when uh, these artifacts arrived at the library system, that you catalog them and, right. and list it. Was there in, any insurance involved or anything to document uh, the, the condition of the Queen Idia mask at that time? At that time, yes. In the insurance is through our uh, risk management uh, department. So therefore, when we receive them, we compile the list and the value of uh, each piece that is determined by the owner uh, of the collection uh, or the owner of the artwork. So yes, that has been uh, documented. Uh, but once again, I have left the African American Research Library for quite a while now, so um, I don't know where, where that is in the archives. But I do know that, yes, that process was done because mm -hmm. it was done under my responsibility. And uh, why, if, the, if there's a certain expertise to repair ivory. Why do you think it is, uh, how could it happen that someone could apparently use glue to attempt to repair it? Well, you're, you're touching here a fundamental problem of competencies and the politics of uh, location. That is, if we were to argue that people with a certain expertise must be assigned to positions where some tasks are required to be performed professionally, then we will have to look at in the library division who are the people with that knowledge background with regard to African art and assign them to the African American Research Library. So uh, does the library have staff with those uh, capabilities? To my knowledge today, both whether they're black or white, there is no, no one person in the library division with the knowledge of art history, particularly African art, 
to be able to uh, uh, fulfill this uh, position. Remember that there are five collections worth more than $3 million at the African American Research Library. And of that $3 million, how much is the Ibahan collection worth? The Ibahan collection will basically worth $1.5 million. And the, at, the, at the present situation now. And the Queen Idia Mass would be a part of that, though you don't, don't know. Queen Idia will be is part of the Ibahan collection. Now, do you know of any other artifacts that are part of this collection that uh, have been damaged? To my observation, yes, there are. There is, for example, the Akenzoa uh, bronze plaque with the shield. The shield, and my observation, was broken. And uh, um, what is disheartening is that the library, including the library director, cannot say that I have not called his attention to the situation of these collections. So you, you I took it personally to write to him not once, not twice, but more than four or five times to argue about the necessity to, do, to give consideration to the African art collections at the African American Research Library. And who is the director? The director actually is Mr. Robert Cannon. Okay. And what was his reaction to you bringing this to his attention? I have never had any positive response from him. Uh, articulated in, a, in, in any uh, meaningful way. If you look at, for example, we have one of the most complete collection of African masks, donated by two white benefactors. It is the most, one of the most important African art collections in the United States today. We, ha we hold them for the past eight years it has never been shown at the African American Research Library. The only time it has been shown it is when it was taken from the African American Research Library and Cultural Center and shown at the Coral Spring Museum of Art. And um, why do you think that is? I don't know. You should ask the director of the Broward County Library. Now, we know in the library system, as with all of the counties, there's been a number of cutbacks. Do you think that in any way contributed to this apparent damage to the Queen Idia Mass? Certainly, uh, the situation, uh, the financial situation the library is facing um, is understandable in terms of its cutting staff and all those things. But it has nothing to do with the required knowledge that is necessary to handle this. If, you, if you're talking about African masks, if you're talking about the bronze of Benin, and then you will compare that, for example, to the Greek plaques or to the Egyptian artifacts. That's the level at which you need to make the comparison. Will you, for example, have a staff of the library who never studied, doesn't understand anything, be responsible of uh, Egyptian antiquities? Mm -hmm. Or will it be a mistake to make that assignment? So the argument according to which it's because of uh, cutting, we don't have the staff, doesn't hold in the sense that competent staff on African art I've been assigned to trivial job in the library. So there is a complete separation of black competent staff from the collections. Okay. Thank you.